Hey guys, this is Jason with JW Class PW, and welcome to another episode. Some of you have been asking about uh, Goose's interior, so we're going to go ahead and do a walk around and show you a little bit more details of the interior. I had to wait until the sun started to go down, and it's beautiful sunset here in Houston, Texas, because it was like 100 degrees today. So let's go ahead and take a walk around, look at everything, and I'll show you guys what's going on with the interior. All right, guys, for those of you new to the channel, Goose is a 1956 oval window rag top. She is beautiful. <laughs> the actual color of the car is, well, as close as I can tell, is a polar silver, which is right for the year, but more often found on uh, Porsches. The, uh, the color match is, is a beige color. Let's walk around the outside real quick and show you guys a look because the sunset is, is making her look really gorgeous right now. <laughs> Not that she's not beautiful anyway. All right. So let's go ahead and start on the outside with the ragtop. The ragtop's been redone. I did a complete restoration on the ragtop, tore it apart, repainted all the inside and the frame. Ragtop from underneath. The interior itself, the uh, headliner, is from Wolfsburg West. I've got these <clears throat> these heavy duty like race type uh, crow seat belts for the front. They also make those in a in a harness type uh, seat belt. All right, that's the rag top right there, guys. Let's go ahead and lock it down for a second. It actually took two rag tops to get this right because I had never done one before. So the first one that I ordered from Wolfsburg West ended up being a template because unlike some of the rag tops for 56, which 56 happened to have a flat piece on the back side and also 56 57 with the rag tops had the the rounded rear rag top so this one was just a flat piece and i had to figure out how long to cut that i also added these these little uh, screws in the back here to help hold it down and to kind of give it a more snug look to the top and i i do think so it turned out pretty good On these pieces right here, I painted the the metal, I painted the little bars that go inside of here, and then I stitched off the end. I sewed up the end right here so that uh, it, the bar wouldn't come out. So let me open that up and kind of show you guys it. So if you look inside of here, let's see if you guys can see that. If you look inside the rag top right here, there's a bar that goes across and I stitched that up because it kept coming out of one end or the other. I also made sure I painted that. I can kind of give you an idea of the frame inside. All of this has been painted and redone. It took a lot of time but it was well worth it. And most of the, uh, most of this I found on Chris Vallone in his classic Volkswagen uh, YouTube that he has. I'll link that down in the description for you guys. He doesn't do this type of rag top. He doesn't do the two-fold flat back like mine. But uh, he does do another rag top that's pretty similar. It is that round back that I was telling you about. You can see when you do it right, it tucks in to the top like that. All right. For the carpet, I went with a oatmeal tweed from so fine I ordered all of my interior stuff from so fine except for these black mats here that are just left kind of to protect the actual carpet that's underneath because I wanted to keep that in really good shape so the seat is just a 
from so fine it's a, a bright red seat I went with all red no uh, inserts on this because I just liked like the way that the uh, the red looked these seat belts I just picked up from CIP one you can get the little Wolfsburg emblem and stick that on there it looks like the the crest that you'll see on the hood and I also have the little inserts for the back because I don't have heat on this bug because I'm in I'm in Houston so having heat is not really a necessity that covers that all up but they do give you the little inserts for you to cut it out and add the uh, the heater if you want to I also have the little black inserts in the back to protect that as well the door cards I did have them insert a similar similar oatmeal tweed on the uh, the door card and then keep the uh, same bright red top and bottom I kind of think it gives it that vintage look I still need to do the the trunk with a carpet and I'll order that from so fine as well if you look in the very back I also carried that uh, that oatmeal tweed onto the rear cards as well fold this down back seat and you'll see a timing light <laughs> and also the uh, the carpet carried into the back and I picked up some vintage luggage to stick back here and I'll probably keep spare parts and uh, I plan on turning one of those into a Bluetooth speaker box because the 56 doesn't have a stereo and I don't plan on adding one so I'm just gonna do a Bluetooth speaker box I completely tore down these frames and I picked up some spray paint from one of the big box stores I think this is this is actually from Home Depot and they have an almond paint there a rust-oleum almond and I painted all of the uh, seat frames with that rust-oleum almond one of the things I didn't know about and I couldn't find anywhere but eventually did did uh, find it through a photo was on the back side here on your seat this is a tuck like there's two pieces of material that you have to tuck into the rail on the back seat to get that to match up to get that smooth look and that took some time to figure that out but it turned out really nice all the padding has been replaced on all of my seats the rear and the front so that's why you get that really full really full look to the seat when you have the right kind of padding one thing I haven't added yet and I will is when I find it are the door handles you know the little uh, assist straps for the the rear passengers I'll add those eventually once I find them <laughs> I'm sure they're available on the Samba but I just haven't done it yet I'm also going to replace these visors with period correct visors I just you know when you're putting together a car to get on the road you kind of just pick up what you can and make it work these are original rails and this is original sunroof car that all all came with this this 56 oval window she gets compliments all the time she gets all the attention wherever we go and people really love that red interior I'm gonna add one of the little luggage racks underneath here eventually too. Well, you guys know how that is. We all had things that we're working on and that we're gonna add eventually. I tore apart the column and the steering wheel and painted that the same color and the horn bun painted the same color as the almond spray paint that I used for the frames of the seats. If you're liking this content guys do me a favor and hit that uh, like button down there if you're really liking it and you're enjoying what you're seeing hit that subscribe and if you're already a subscriber do me a favor and share share with some friends that you think will really like to check out goose and see what's going on
some of the things that I used to install the interior were the 3M90 adhesive paint. I think I went through like three cans of that installing this. When I originally bought the uh, the car, they had installed the the headliner, but it had some stains on it, so I had to go ahead and take it out and replace that, so that kind of stunk. But I ended up learning that you got to be careful with that contact cement, that contact glue, because you can get a little bleed through. And I, I have a little, I have some bleed through spots in a couple places that I know about. <laughs> <laughs> when you're kind of crazy and a little bit of a perfectionist, you uh, you know all the little things that are wrong with your car, right, guys? But I really wouldn't say anything is wrong with Goose. Well, there you go. That's the interior. It's through so fine. I'll link them down in the description too. And if you have any questions, just uh, shoot over a comment, guys. Also, my email is in the contact information in the uh, in the description below. So. Uh, Give me a shout if you got any questions. Hey guys, if you haven't done so already, it's summertime. Go out and get yourself a fire extinguisher to keep in your baby. You don't want to have her burn down. I've seen too many uh, posts on Facebook about people that have lost their cars because they didn't have a fire extinguisher with them. Go pick up a fire extinguisher, stick it in the back seat, and always have it ready to go. There's also a, uh, a, a fire suppression uh, ring that you can install above your engine. I'll link that in the description. And what that does is if anything happens with over your engine compartment gets too hot like it's on fire it'll automatically suppress the fire in your engine compartment so i'm going to do that eventually and i'll have a video on that coming but that's more expensive than a 30 dollars fire extinguisher the sun's about down guys it's almost time to go thank you for joining me on another episode of jw classic vw and we explained uh goose's interior if you got any questions once again hit me in the comments like share and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys soon bye bye There you go guys, a beautiful gorgeous Texas sunset. Hope you're all out there enjoying your uh, your Volkswagens and uh, having a good time. Stay safe, enjoy your weekend. This is Jason with JW Classic VW. Talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.